Hello, hello, hello. Good morning to all friends and family. Good morning to you all. Back to you again. I know you're going to say everything she said, it's important. Yes, it is important. Back to you again. No, my friend. Ah, it's hard to talk about. It's hard. But I have to talk about this video that a friend of mine sent to me. It's very, very, very disturbing. But I'm not going to, I am not going to put it on YouTube. Because she begged me, don't put it out there. But it's very much disturbing. So I have to speak about this video I saw. Now, home attendant. I used to be a home attendant too. So I'm talking about all home attendant because I used to be one too. Thank God, God helped me to retire from home attendant. Yes, thank God. God helped me to retire from home attendant. But when I used to do it, I don't just do it just to collect the money. I do it from my heart and the love. So please, all home attendant, attention. Attention, all home attendant. Attention, attention, please. If you don't like the work you're doing, please don't do it. Please, home attendant, if you don't like the work you're doing, do not do it. Why do the work and then you abuse the elderly? It is not fair. If you feel like it's you're not getting enough money or what I don't know why people do it. But if you feel like this is not for you, why do it? This is what you choose to do. So why abuse the elderly people? Why? The only reason why I would not send this video out on YouTube because my friend begged me, please don't do it. But I hope to God because she sent the video to me. Her friend sent it to her and she sent it to me. She begged me, please don't send this video out. It's really disturbing. Yes, it's very much disturbing. It hurt me bad. Hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, bad. Hurt me, a pain in my heart to see this video. And I know if I send it out, I know the police is going for this lady. Yes, I know the police would go for this lady. So, home attendant, please, if you don't like the job you're doing, please. Don't take it and then, and then you abuse the elderly. Because you know that the elderly are sick. You know that they're sick. So they're going to act some kind of way. Where you know that they're going to act. I really know some of the people don't really sick. They know everything. Those people, they you can't do certain things to them because they can defend yourself and thank God for that. But the one that cannot talk 
or cannot help yourself. Agency. You have to feel the people to send to a certain job. You, you, you must can feel the people you're hire. And I hear the nurse talk something. Whenever time they have in-service and talking to everyone in the in-service, they can tell, they get to know everyone and they can tell something about everyone. And why? 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 Why home attendant? Why? Why would you take the job and then try to hurt the elderly? Lady, all I know, if I was a cop, I would come straight for you. I would come straight for you. I don't like what I don't like what you do. I don't like. I don't like what you do, lady, as a home attendant. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why you take the job and then trying to abuse the elderly? That's why I promised myself. My husband is a little older than me. And I promised myself if God forbid and something happened to him, as well as something can happen to me too, but if something should happen to him before me, I promise to God, I take care of him myself. I take care of him myself. Or if I have to go someplace, I try to find out who can I trust to take care of him until I get back if I have to go someplace. It's hard. It's very hard. Home attendant, why abuse the patient? They cannot talk. They're sick. They know nothing. So they're going to behave like a kid. You know how much case I go on when I when I used to do home attendant? Do you know how much case I go on when the people them curse at me and they curse at me and they behave some kind of way? You see, when they're cursing, I just walk away and go sit down and let them keep going on, going on, suit yourself. Sometimes I just sit down right there looking and the person keep cursing, cursing, cursing. And I just sit down looking. If you doesn't pay them any mind, they're going to cool down. Sometimes these people just test you too. Sometimes they know what they're doing. Sometimes they test you to see the kind of person coming to take care of them. Why? If you're doing this job, why hurt the client lady i don't like to see what you've done to this lady i don't like to see it it's cruelty it's hard it's not right it is not right but you know what i'm gonna leave this video and somebody else will send it out i don't want to because i don't want the tears you cry when you're locked up or whatever. I don't want it on my shoulder. I don't want it on my shoulder. But you know what happened? It's hard. It's hard. Why taking the job? Why? If you know you don't have any love in your heart. To take care of the elderly. And it's not the elderly alone. Because sometimes I see some babysitter too. Doing some stuff not right. I take care of disability children also too. And I work with this person. When I just go there. Oh my God, 
it take me about six or seven months before we could come together. He cursed me day, night, day, night, day, night, he cursed me. But when he see that I wasn't fighting with him, we become so much good friends. So much good friends we become. So much good friends. So sometimes these people just test you to see the kind of person you are. Why? Why take the job if you know, if you know, eh? why take the job if you know you cannot deal with some things with these people? They're sick. They're going to behave some kind of way. They're going to behave some kind of way. They're sick. So lady. What was it? What was going through your head or your mind or your soul Why you do that? And the person that worked with you come in and saw what she saw. I tell the truth, she should call the cop. Yes, yeah, she should call the cop. It's not right. It's not right. Home attendant, please, please have some heart and you know what i really believe i'm going to give this video home attendant please have some heart i believe you're gonna give this video this name yes home attendant please have some heart don't abuse disability elderly baby children if you know you cannot deal with it don't take the job don't take it if you know because all they're doing they doesn't know they're sick they're sick tell you the truth if something should happen to my husband I will take care of him myself. Yeah. I will take care of him myself. Because I know when. If I'm taking care of him. I know he's in good hand. I will take care of him myself. It break my heart. To see. Home attendant. Treat the elderly. Like this. It break my heart. break my heart so my husband is a little bit older than me and if something should happen to him i will take care of him my self myself myself yeah myself please have some heart Please have some heart, home attendant. Please have some heart. Please. I saw this um, video from yesterday. And it's still hurting me. Still hurting me today. It's hurting me today. I can't believe somebody would do something like that i can't believe it i cannot believe it have some heart please home attendant have some heart you have other else work you have mcdonald you have a whole bunch of different things out there what you can go and do why choose home attendant if you cannot take the stuff what the elderly is going on with because they're not they, they don't know you know that most of them they, they doesn't have their right mind you know most of them they're sick they're not acting their selves most of them 
Some of them really know what they're doing. But sometimes they play it off with you to see if how you're going to treat them, how you're going to treat them. Some of them really know, but some really, really don't know. And the one in that sick and cannot speak, you look when their family get there. The way they look on their family with their eyes can tell the family that something is not right between you and she or him. They cannot speak, but the way they roll their eyes to their family and you, the family can tell that something is not right. And if you treat them with love and respect, unity, from the family get there, just the way they look at you with their eyes, the family can tell that there is some love right there. And if, if you treat them bad, the family can tell just the way. And when the family want to leave, just the way they behave can tell that the family did, um, she doesn't, the patient doesn't want the family to leave because they know the person they're going to leave back with. They, well, they doesn't want to leave back with. Why treating the patient some kind of way? You're just working to get paid, but you're not working with a little heart. Please have some compassion. Home attendant, please have some compassion. The sick does not know what they are doing. So I'm not just talking to the home attendant alone too. Because I watch a lot of videos in nursing home too. I see things too. So the people in the nursing home, the people in the assistant living in every place, please, please remember you are going to get old too. Remember that. You're going to get old too. And you're going to need somebody also to. So the same plate you dish out, that same plate can come back to bite you. So please treat people the way how you would want to treat. And they just know what they're doing. They does not know. Please. Don't treat them like that. Please. Don't treat them like that. It's not fair. It's not fair. So God bless you all. My friends and family. God bless you all. I love you. And I will pray for you all. Home attendant. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you all. So you could have some good heart and compassion towards the sick. To all everyone. So God bless you. God bless you. And I love you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Peace and love. God bless. Peace and love to you all. Bless up yourself. Happy holiday. In Jamaica, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year, Happy New Year, when it come, God bless you all, thanks again, home attendant, please have some compassion, God bless, love you all, my friends and family, my connected card friend, long time, long time, What's up with you? Long time, long, long time, my Connecticut friend. Long time, long time. What happened to you, man? God bless you. Love you all, my friends and family. God bless. Peace.